Skin cancer is not something you think about often, but I am sure we all know someone who has been affected by it. So according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer by the age of 70. So we need to make sure we are taking care of ourselves the best we can. And here today to give us a little guidance, we have Dr. Rachel Ness with the Fargo Center for Dermatology. Welcome back to the show. Hi, thanks for having me here absolutely, today. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so um, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and we were just talking how um, it's really important that everybody be an advocate for themselves and also just to kind of share about, you know, experiences that people have had. Absolutely. So in two days, May 1st is here. Yes. May 1st is huge. It kicks off our um, the first month or the first day of the month, which is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. So every year we use this as an opportunity in our office to really um, do some things that are special, whether they're special for our patients and for the public. So one of our big events that we do every year to kind of just kick off the month is we always do a complimentary skin cancer screening for the public. So this is one of our public service okay. projects that we do. Good. So for the last 13 years, we've always kind of dedicated a day in our clinic um, to have the public be able to come in and have some free skin cancer screening. So mm -hmm. this year that will be May 7th, which okay. is Friday. So if someone is concerned or ever wants something looked at, we always just um, ask that they go ahead and give our office a call. And definitely call our office because just with social distancing and everything, yes. we just aren't able to take walk-ins at all this year. Okay, okay, and we'll make sure that that number gets on okay. the screen afterwards and of course on our Facebook page too yeah. um, in North Dakota today. So, okay, so let's talk number one, mm -hmm. number one cancer is skin cancer. It's huge. You know, and people don't realize it sometimes. They've kind of heard about skin cancer and they think, oh, maybe it's not me, it's maybe not that many people. But when you, when you actually tell someone that skin cancer is the most common skin cancer mm -hmm. in the United States mm -hmm. and actually worldwide. And I always tell people, I said, every hour, every hour, there's two people that die in the United States of skin cancer. And so I always like to use statistics sometimes to just make it a little bit more real for patients. Another one is I always like to tell people that, you know, you always hear about cigarette smoking and people dying of lung cancer. We actually have more people dying of skin cancer every year from tanning bed use really? than people dying of lung cancer from cigarette smoking. And we know how um, educated the public is on the dangers of cigarette smoking. So we always find it is our personal responsibility to really educate the public, especially mm -hmm. this month during Skin Cancer Awareness Month of um, what you can do to prevent skin cancer, so not using tanning beds, um, preventative strategies, and then identifying strategies. What lesions on your body should you be worried about or concerned, or what lesions should you call our office about to come on in and have us look at? Yeah, definitely. It's so scary because I just was in to visit with you because um, you know, I just thought I'm gonna do an overall screening, right? And sure enough, I have, I'm getting a spot removed on my leg. Got it. And so, and we, we always tell patients um, that if that happens to you, we always say, share this. We say, it is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Share your story. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Because everyone thinks it's not going to be them. Right. But we tell people, by the age of 70, one in five of us will have had a skin cancer. All yeah. right? So you kind of look around this room and say, yeah. there's going to be a couple in this room that are going to have skin cancer. So it will happen um, to a significant portion, you know, of us. So it's important to be aware. And we never know what age. Age, you know right <laughs> um, you know we take skin cancers off of patients every day you know some are in their 20s 30s mm -hmm. 40s 50s definitely more in the you know the elderly population but I see 20 to 30 year olds all the time that we take skin cancers off so it's extremely important no matter what your age is to just be aware of sun protection and what to be looking for in your skin right because sun is the number one enemy absolutely yeah absolutely unfortunately yeah, right <laughs> and again genetics again you have very fair okay. skin like mm -hmm. myself so yeah. you know people like us have to be very careful you right. know but it's not just fair skinned individuals like ourselves you know the majority of skin cancers are felt to be caused mm -hmm. by um, ultraviolet rays or or um, sunlight so it's extremely important we can't change our genetics i always tell people yeah but we can change our habits and so we use this month, um, we use you know May 7th when people come in our office to really educate you. Even if it's you don't even have a lesion you necessarily are worried about, we just want to have you leave educated and yes. know what, what things can you do in your life to implement sun protection. So maybe it's sunscreen, maybe it's hats, maybe it's sun protective clothing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different strategies that you can do to protect yourself and decrease your risk factors for skin cancer because it is not fun to have a skin cancer. No. And so, um, you know, do what you can do 
to prevent it. Absolutely. And there's so many products out there too, um, you know, especially for little kids. And I mean, it all starts when you're young. Absolutely. So it's important to have that protection on. Absolutely. You know, we lather them up, obviously, with as much sunscreen as possible, but that cannot do it mm -hmm. alone. And I think so. people, I think you've kind of hit it, people get overwhelmed. You know, they, they kind of say, I don't even know what I'm supposed to use. Yeah. And so a lot of people, we have, we provide 10 different sunscreens in our office. And we always tell people, you know, you don't have to buy them from us, but we just want to make it easy. So mm -hmm. we'll educate you on what ingredients you need to be looking for, sure. whether so you can be um, a little bit more aware when you're shopping for your sunscreens. Yeah. You can grab them in our office if that's easier for you. But also we just kind of educate you also on clothing and alternatives and not using a tanning bed. And so for those of patients of ours that definitely still want that tan, we say, you know, a, a tan is just your skin crying for help, mm -hmm. okay? It's your DNA damage. <laughs> so other healthy alternatives that we do, we promote um, uh, tanning lotions in our products. Okay. So people can yeah. pick those up on the way out. They can get a spray tan in our office. So we're oh, really I trying to provide those safe alternatives. So That's if you've great. got a wedding, a prom, a special event, you know, those types yeah. of things, there is healthy ways that you can still feel tan we all know it makes us feel a little bit better it does, so there's a healthy sure. way that you can go about that okay very very good ideas and i love it the other thing can we go back mm -hmm. to also just kind of getting you know finding you were talking about lesions or, or yep. different yep. Um, spots and and i i think of moles yeah you know yep. as probably or freckles or or whatnot right yep. but there are places that you can't see on your body by yourself so where should we be i mean like Obviously, you should come in to have mm -hmm. you all. Yes. I mean, they really did a we, thorough once over. Yes, and I think that's a really good point you bring up is like, what what should you expect if mm -hmm. you come into our office? As we always tell you, the more skin we can look at, the better. Yeah. So really, we look at you head to toe. We dig through your hair. Yes. You know, we tell you, get your hairdresser involved in this. We look under your undergarments if you like us to. We look between your toes. Yeah. Anywhere you have skin, you can get a skin cancer. And right. so we look everywhere. So again, we want to make sure we only do what the patient is comfortable with, but we really want you to leave feeling that we have looked at everything. And um, and the only thing you need to do is just once a month, we'll get your skin at home if you ever notice something that's worrisome. And then let us do the worrying for you. All right, mm -hmm. come on in, You know, whether it be once a year, have us look at your skin. We always say there's nothing better than having that patient come in and be able to take that anxiety away from them and either A, tell them that mole or that spot you had in your leg, your arm, it's normal, it's fine, it's friendly, or just saying, you know what, we'll just take that off for you, we'll take a peek at it, and um, it is our job to just remove the anxiety of um, worrying about your skin lesions. Yeah, very good, very good information. Everybody needs to pay close mm -hmm. attention. Always we say, you know, pay, pay attention to your body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> in, in so many ways. And now be observant as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. You know, so we always way, say so. any lesion that you see that's, you know, new, it's changing, it's itching, it's bleeding, it's mm -hmm. not healing, it's darkening, you know, it's enlarging, it's enlarging. We always kind of, we have our ABCDs that we always use, you yeah. know, in our office for asymmetry, funny looking border, color variation, diameter bigger than a pencil. Uh, or six millimeters, E for elevation, then we sneak in an F there for family history. So if you have a family history of melanoma or skin cancer, that's another thing that you should be a little okay. bit more concerned with. So right. we try and make it easy, you know, for yeah. identifying those tricky lesions. Very good. Thank you so much, yes. Dr. Ness, for being on. Fargo Center for Dermatology, we can find you where? Um, you can go ahead and look up on our website, which is fargoderm.com, or you certainly can go ahead and just give our office a call. Awesome. Thank you so very much for being with Thank us. Thank you. All right, coming up on today's show, it's springtime and the team at Heritage Homes is excited to join the Fargo-Moorhead Home Builders Association on the Spring Parade of Homes Tour.